our performance lies in the period from about 1890 to 1930. That was the golden era of theater and salon and hotel orchestras. My earliest musical background was in Grand Rapids, where I grew up. I studied violin. At the time, one of the big influences, along with my teachers, was actually my mother. Had, when she was young, had played in silent theaters occasionally, accompanied the Kiwanis choirs, and, and did all the things that a musician did in a small town. It was from her that I developed an interest, really, in the music of that period. When this beautiful theater here in Bay City, the State Theater, began renovation plans, I realized that with its small stage and its intimate setting, it was an ideal place, not for a large orchestra, but for an orchestra that would be a dozen players or so, modeled after the old theater orchestras. Uh, and it was from that that the Bijou itself was formed. We'll play everything from Ten Pan Alley to Piazzolla everything from tangos to the music of Vienna just before the turn of the 20th century. We're not interested in modern versions of old music. We want to play the old music as it was printed. Old music as it was printed is becoming something that's increasingly difficult to find. Without the internet, I think it'd be virtually impossible for us to keep this orchestra alive. It helps us to recapture a whole period of American music making that uh, I think we tend to have forgotten if we ever really thought about it at all. I don't want the next generation to look at what we do and say, well, that's an interesting historic curio. So we want to dig out the very best of what we do and show that the vitality in this music that was important to people 100 years ago can still be important just because it's intrinsically alive in a way that, that we want to share. Produced by Michigan Television in partnership with the Michigan Council for Arts and Cultural Affairs and the Michigan Humanities Council.